die doering in die vlees. The thorn in the flesh. That's something... I think it's in Romans, in the Bible, where it's, it's all about Paul, who was previously named Saul, who used to kill a lot of Christians, by the way. He had this thorn in the flesh, you know, this niggling irritation. Well, Saul did decide that it was best to praise Jesus on Sunday, because he is the son, and to keep a woman from not being ministers of men or fishers, fishers, fishermen of men, and that men could keep their foreskin. I like that part, but it's truthfully. I would say unto you that his thorn was a little bit of real flesh, you know, that nibbly bit. You know, today we're sitting here and we are judged by the preacher man and told what we're doing is wrong. You climbed out of the wrong side of the bed. And, you know, the, the forefathers of this religion that tells us you're wrong, Martin Luther, not Martin Luther King, Martin Luther, he had this fetish. Yes. Today we would call it a fetish. Flagellation. Uh, it's, not, it's not farting. It's whipping yourself. Whipping. Like they did whip Jesus. You know, it's all about how you conceive things, how you perceive things, how things are explained to you from people who you really respect and admire and believe to be right. Because, well, generally they're older than you. And it's just been handed down through since since the seventeen hundreds. This man would whip himself until the blood started streaming, and he covered himself in his own blood. Today, that would be call, called a satanic ritual. He found it was just correct for him to do because if he did bad he needed to rectify that bad he needed to whip himself look he started a whole religion and broke away from Paul Saul Rome and he unified a country with a language By enjoying his flagellation, smearing his blood all over his body. Look, there was pain, but a woman would know that there's many joys that come from pain. In it. We are. Through the church and through communities, not my family, but other families, told and taught to be the best because we could be the change, just like Martin Luther was the change. And maybe in 300 years' time, I will have changed and unified. A nation. I oh, thank you for watching. Ciao for now. Mm -hmm.